Hello friends, very soon there will be a new GST return going to be introduced. The effective date will be October 1st. There are Sahaj and Sugam form which are the small taxpayers which means if their turnover is less than 5 crore. If they have only B2C they can go for Sahaj and if they have B2C and B2B they can go for Sugam. Okay. And both the returns are required to be filed quarterly. Today discussion we are just restricting only for the GST return for the new large taxpayer. What are the new forms applicable to large taxpayer? Annex 1. This is the output form and can be filled on real time basis. Customer can take credit of input if vendor fills the form till 10th of the next month. Entries upload after 10th, then customer can claim input credit next month. There cannot be any interest between 18 to 20th. So you cannot put any interest between 18 to 20th of the next month. And whatever interest you the vendor will fill till 10th of the next month, the customer can take input credit in the same month, otherwise, it will be fill over to the next month. Annex 2, it is the input form. And here the taxpayer required to accept, reject, or keep pending. Okay. Please be note if no action taken, then automatic it is going to be accepted. Supplier cannot do any amendment if accepted by customer. This is a very important here because what we are accepting or what input we are claiming should require to reconcile our books. Okay. If you don't do on monthly basis, on your particular basis then it's very difficult to file your GST annual return. And now in the last there's something called return one, which is a payment form. The due date will be the, will be 20th of the next month and it is an automatic filled form from annex one and annex two. The taxpayer have to just make the payment. So here you will get the snapshot that there will be only three forms annex one where we required to put our output before 10th of the next month. And as a two, we can take input, accept, reject, or pending, and that we can do on real time basis. And at the last 20th of the next month, we have to make the GST payment, which is automatic form, which is input minus output, and that we have to make the payment. Now, let's look at the timeline. For September 19, we have to file GST one on 10th of October, and that is going to be our last GST one. On 20th October, we have to file GST CB for September 19th. For October 10th of November, we have to file our first Annex 1. On 20th November, we have to keep continuing file GST CB. For November, we have to file Annex 1. And on 20th December, we have to file our last GST CB. For December 19th, the annex one will be filed on 10th of January 2020 and our first return 01 will be filed on 20th January 2020. So this is the timeline we have provided. The purpose here I have given you in a sort so that you can be ready yourself with the new GST return. Thank you so much. Have a good day.